students today we are going to discuss second theoretical session from this unit known to be ionic equilibrium what points we are going to discuss in today's session remember important point first one neutralization reaction we are going to make use of this point in mcq discussion second one how to identify amphoteric substance that is definition oriented mcq third one which among the following is conjugate acid base pair that one can easily identify for first level mcqs and last point we are going to discuss terms related to oswald dilution law that is in next theoretical session we will discuss or we are going to derive different mathematical expression for weak electrolyte weak acid and weak base so before that you should be familiar with important terms that is terms related to oswald dilution law so this is content from today's theoretical session let us start with first point what is first point in front of you known to be neutralization reaction students you are already familiar with this point from lower classes you can easily tell what is this reaction involving acid and base for which purpose to produce salt and water this is called as which reaction neutralization no doubt it is also correct definition of neutralization but instead of this definition acid and base react to produce salt and water we are focusing on another important definition what is that for that purpose check this example this is hcl this is naoh what type of product you are getting salt nacl what is another product h2o so what is the example hcl plus naoh gives rise to nacl plus water now tell me this is strong acid this is strong base this is under study salt this is another product water students remember how to write ionic form of this original equation suppose we are going to write ionic form of this equation remember throughout this chapter first of all we are going to dissociate strong species it may be acid or base and another one salt now both are strong so how to dissociate this one H plus aqueous Cl minus aqueous. What about base? Na plus aqueous OH minus aqueous. What about salt? Salt also dissociate completely. Water kept as it is. Now, after writing ionic form of the original equation, what is next step? Remember, CCI. That is cancelling common ion. Now tell me which common ion get cancelled? Na plus Na plus get cancelled. What about this one? Cl minus Cl minus get cancelled. What remain? H plus plus OH minus. What product you are getting towards right hand side? H2O. And if we indicate this H2O as what we are writing here, undissociated water molecule. Now tell me, beside this first definition, acid and base react to produce salt and water. That is nothing but neutralization. Can you tell me another definition of same neutralization from this equation? Anybody? What this indicate? Reaction in which what happen? Combination of H plus ion from acid with OH minus ion from base. For which purpose? To produce undissociated water molecule. This is nothing but which reaction? Neutralization reaction. So remember this one. Now shift towards next point. What is that? How one can identify? among the given species which is amphoteric which is not amphoteric but again there is short bit for two mark in case of board exam remember explain with example amphoteric substance so check this definition first one those substances which act as acid as well as base means substance having dual nature acidic as well as basic that is acting as amphoteric substance. But again question arises, out of four different acid base concept, which acid base concept or theory which we are going to utilize in this case, substance acting as acid as well as base, means we are considering this one. Can you tell me what H plus donor called as acid, what H plus acid are called as base, this is according to which concept? LB concept, Lori Brosted acid base concept. So remember another definition. Substance having tendency to donate as well as to accept H plus called as proton. That is known to be what kind of substance? Amphoteric substance. 
Suppose we check simple example of water. Remember this one. Water act as amphoteric substance. Now, check these two heading. You have to write heading according to example. HCl plus H2O. Tell me what happened here. This is HCl acid, it donated proton. What happened? There will be formation of hydronium ion, H3O plus and Cl minus. Check another example. H2O treated with ammonia. What does this arrow indicate? Tell me product. Ammonium ion, NH4 plus. What about this? OH minus. Suppose we indicate this criteria. H plus donor is acid, H plus acceptor is base. What happened in this case? HCl donate proton which is accepted by water, proton acceptor is base, so what we can write here, water as base, when it is treated with HCl, what about this one, water itself donate H plus to ammonia, so it act as acid, so what should be second heading, water as acid, so we are focusing these two words, H plus donor acid, H plus acceptor base, and substance having such dual nature, it is called as what type of substance? Ampoderic substance. Check another point for two marks short bit. Also, few MCQs already repeated in various entrance exam. That is definition oriented MCQs. How to identify what type of conjugate acid base pairs are present in given system? So, for that purpose. Remember this definition. What we can write here? Those acid base pairs. Which acid base pairs called as conjugate acid base pairs? Which differs by only single proton. Now tell me what is proton denoted on paper? H plus. So what is definition? Those acid base pairs which differs by only one H plus ion. That is only one proton, these are called as conjugate acid base pair. Means what we can write? Every acid has self generated base that is called as conjugate base. Similarly, tell me reverse case every base has self generated acid which is called as conjugated acid. Remember this additional important point regarding MCQ, we will going to discuss later on. So, this is first part regarding definition. Now, if we check example, what happened in this case? HCl plus NH3 or we can take HCl plus another species. What happened here? This proton is donated. What you are getting here? NH4 plus Cl minus. Now, tell me what happened in this case? This is HCl proton donor acid what about this one cl minus this is called as conjugate base now tell me reverse case ammonia accept h plus ion so it behave as base what it produce nh4 plus ion it is called as conjugate what about this one acid now check these two here one h plus there is no h plus you have three hydrogen here four hydrogen so what about definition part? Those acid base pairs which differs by only single proton, these are called as conjugate acid base pairs. So this is another important point. Remember this one. Now, last part, point from this theoretical session we are going to discuss because in next theoretical session we are directly utilizing these three terms. These are very important one for problems as well as MCQ. What is first term in front of you? Degree of dissociation. Remember, degree of dissociation on paper indicated by this one. Alpha is degree of dissociation. Now, check this example. Suppose we take Ba electrolyte. It dissociate partly to produce what type of species? B plus and A minus aqueous. Remember this one. Ba in aqueous solution produce B plus and A minus aqueous. Suppose we are starting with 100 moles and out of 100 moles only 30 moles undergoes breaking. Then how to calculate alpha? This one. Alpha equal to how many mole dissociate? 30. How many initially present? This one. So alpha equal to 0.3. 
So remember how to define degree of dissociation alpha. Check this one. It is nothing but ratio. Which ratio? This one. Number of moles of electrolyte. Which one? Dissociated at equilibrium. To the what is this? Total number of moles initially present. This ratio gives you alpha. What is alpha? Number of moles of electrolyte dissociated at the equilibrium. Nothing but alpha. What is alpha indicated here? Degree of dissociation. Suppose out of 100 moles initially present, 20 undergoes dissociation. Then what should be alpha value? 0.2. That will be degree of dissociation. Now shift towards last second term. What is that? We are mainly dealing with acids and bases in addition to salt in this chapter. So which constant we are going to discuss here? Dissociation constant of acid denoted on paper as Ka. So that in parallel manner you can easily explain Kb that is constant for base. So check this one. Suppose we are writing this one Ha. It dissociates partly as it is weak acid. H plus aqueous plus tell me A minus aqueous. If we apply law of mass action, remember this one. Applying which law? Law of mass action. In class 11 already you discussed this one. Law of mass action. Remember short form. So that what you are getting here? Ka. Now tell me ratio. Product upon reactant. So what we can write? Ka equal to H plus concentration into A minus divided by HA. What about meaning of Ka? Ka nothing but which constant? Dissociation constant of acid. From this ratio, can you tell me student? How to define Ka? Anybody? What is Ka? Equilibrium constant obtained. How? By applying law of mass action. To whom? Applying law of mass action to dissociation equilibrium of what species? Acid. HA throughout this chapter act as acid. So tell me once again. Equilibrium constant obtained by applying law of mass action to dissociation equilibrium of acid that is nothing but dissociation constant of acid in similar manner can you tell me last point <coughs> what is that last point dissociation constant of base so remember for acid we are taking ha as a general example for base remember boh is the general representation so what we can write BOH aqueous. How we dissociate according to weak nature? B plus aqueous and OH minus aqueous. Now, if we apply law of mass action, tell me next step. What we are going to apply? Applying law of mass action to this equilibrium for base, another constant you are getting on paper KB. How to write KB ratio? These are the product, this is reactant. So, what we can write? Concentration of B plus ion into that of OH minus upon concentration of which one? BOH. Now tell me meaning of this one KB. It is nothing but dissociation constant of base. So tell me last definition. What is dissociation constant of base denoted on paper by KB? This ratio. Which ratio? Equilibrium constant of 10. How? By applying law of mass action to dissociation equilibrium of base, this is called as dissociation constant of base. So, which three term we discuss? Alpha, degree of dissociation. Ka, dissociation constant of acid. And what is Kb? Dissociation constant of base.